beginners love the idea of making money from trading in cryptocurrency market or even stock market. If they get a bunch of bidding trades, they may seriously consider the idea of quitting the job and becoming a full-time trader. When I was a beginner, I was in love with this idea until I studied advanced probability theory in grad school and tested for myself. So in this video, I will bury all your day trading hopes and dreams with just simple mathematics. Trading is one of those tempting, glamorous careers. The idea of being self-employed, taking vacation whenever you want, earning tons of money. It all sounds like a dream come reality. It is a dream, but the truth is, it is an unpleasant dream. The average income for people who are trying to become full-time traders to support themselves and their families is less than zero. In other words, it's not that they do not make enough money to survive as a trader, is that they do not make any money. The vast majority are forced to give up the dream and go back to reality. Today, we are going to talk about one-dimensional random walk. In particular, we are going to cover a classic phenomena known as gambler's ruin problem. The gambler's ruin problem will open your eyes on day trading and gambling. I warn you, this is when it gets technical and some math will be involved. If you do not understand the math, it is okay. Just remember that numbers do not lie and people do. So when we day trade, we need money, right? Right? Suppose we start with an amount of dollars, where n is just a natural number. And we make a sequence of bets. For each bet, we will win $1 with probability p and lose $1 with probability 1 minus p. We quit if we go broke, in which case we lose. Or when we reach t equal n plus m dollars, that is when we win m amount of dollars. For example, let's say that probability of success equals to 47% if n equals $100 and m equal $100, then t equals $200. Now the question is, what are the odds we will win $100 before we lose $100? Most people would think that, oh, it's easy, it is 47%, which is equivalent to 50%. Well, the odds are not so bad. However, in effect, we will see that we will win before we lose with probability much less than 1%. In this example, we have a random walk in which the value can go up and down by 1 at each step, similar to the market moves, as we can see on this diagram. The probability of making an up move at any step is P. The probability of making down move in any step is 1 minus p. This random walk is special type of random walk where moves are independent of the past. If p equals 1 half, then the random walk is unbiased, where if p does not equal 1 half, then random walk is biased. We also have boundaries at 0 and n plus m dollars. If the walk hits the boundaries, then we stop playing if we quit when we go broke, meaning we will lose n dollars, or when we get to n plus m, meaning we win m dollars. So we care about probability of winning or the probability of going broke. So let's figure out the probability that we will gain m amount of dollars before we lose n amount of dollars. To set things up, formally, let W be the event we will hit T before we hit 0, where T equals N plus M dollars. Let P of N be the probability we get T dollars before we go broke, given that we start with N dollars. So our question then, what is P of N? The P of N is just a simple expected value, where P of N equals probability of success multiplied by the value of up move plus probability of failure multiplied by the value of down move. We can simplify this formula into this formula, where p of n equals p divided by 1 minus p to the power m. I'm not going to prove this because no one will understand it anyway. In this case, you will just have to trust me. So, if probability of success equals to 47% in our early example, then the probability of failure must be 
Remember, the sum of probabilities is always equal to 1. Therefore, p divided by 1 minus p equals to 0.47 divided by 0.53, which is equals to 0.88. And for any n, where n is the amount of dollars we started with. If m equals $100, where m is the amount of dollars we want to win, then probability of win is less than or equal to 0.88 to the power 100 is less than or equal to 0.000028, which is much less than 1. So there is no chance of winning. But on the other hand, if suppose n equals $10 and we want to double our money, then t equals $20. In this case, the probability of winning will be followed by a slightly different formula, which is 0.53 divided by 0.47 to the power 10 minus 1, divided by 0.53 divided by 0.47 to the power 20 minus 1, which is equivalent to 0.26 or 26%. So the odds are slightly better, but still not good. But what if probability of success is not 47% but 50%? Then we will have to follow a slightly different formula. Probability of winning equals to n divided by t is equivalent to n divided by n plus m. So the probability of getting t before reaching 0 is n divided by t. So suppose we starting with $100 day trading. Now the question is. What is the probability of making 10x your money before going broke? Probability of success equals to 100 divided by 100 plus 900, which equals to 0.10 or 10%. So if probability of success is 50%, just by flipping a coin, you still have very small chance of making 10x day trading. But the probability of winning a fortune are much less when odds are against you. So the trouble is that our intuition tells us if the game is almost fair when we expect the same result to be almost the same as if the game were fair. It turns out it's not the case. For unbiased case, the intuition here is that it takes long time to hit the boundary, but we will do it eventually and lose it everything. Now suppose, by some magic and somehow, we can tilt the odds on our side. Let's say probability of success equals to 55%, while probability of failure is 45%. If we start with n dollars and we want to double our money, then t equals $20. In this case, the probability of winning is 0.45 divided by 0.55 to the power 10 minus 1. Everything divided by 0.45 divided by 0.55 to the power 20 minus 1, which is equivalent to 0.86 or 86%. So we can double our money with 86% of success if we tilt the odds on our side. So when it comes to day trading in cryptocurrency market or even stock market, if you just flip in a coin for every trade, it's just a matter of time when you will lose all your money. But if by some magic somehow you will tilt the odds on your side, you will have this probability of success. However, I do not see how this is possible. So the moral of the story is, kids, do not day trade nor gamble, because odds are not on your side. So this is the end, let me know what you guys think about day trading and gambling. Leave your thoughts in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. And if you are new to this channel, do not forget to subscribe for more animated videos. Other than that, thank you for watching and see you next video.